Hello once again and welcome to a new segment I'm creating that's called Tech from the Far East. If the name didn't quite give it away, then here's a brief rundown on what it is. In Tech from the Far East, I take a look at some of the more obscure tech gadgets that you can get uh, from you know this part of the world from brands that you might not have heard of before or maybe you have but you were afraid to take the risk into purchasing any one of them. These gadgets can range from PC parts and components to that for your car or maybe everyday life. To start this segment off, what I have with me here today is a product from Ugreen, the wireless Bluetooth 4.1 receiver audio adapter. Not the catchiest name but hey, at least it's descriptive. This receiver is designed for those with older cars like mine that don't have Bluetooth built into the media center but has an aux port and that's exactly what this guy plugs into. Well, that and obviously a USB power source. You might ask, why don't you just connect your phone straight to the aux jack of your car? And to that I would reply, eh, you know, where's the fun in that? Also, I have an S7 Edge and the built-in amp DAC are honestly quite useless at pumping out enough juice, leaving me with a less than satisfied audio output. So come with me in this video as we kick off the first episode of Tech from the Far East with the Ugreen Wireless Bluetooth 4.1 Receiver Audio Adapter. Man, that's a mouthful. So what's a video without an unboxing? we obviously have to have one, so here's what you get in the box. Sliding out the packaging and opening the cardboard box, first up, you have the wireless receiver. Below that, the mounting bracket that holds on via adhesive or to the AC vents of your car, the warranty card, and a manual that surprisingly has English, but come on, who needs a manual? Slipping the receiver out of the plastic, we get a better look at the device. The central receiver has a black glossy plastic finish, while the center is made of a rubber silicon-like material with the buttons and logo sticking out, and both the 3.5mm headphone jack and the USB Type-A head are both electro-coated in gold for enhanced resistance to wear and corrosion. Installing the receiver is as easy as finding a spot on your car where you'd like it to be, then removing the tape on the adhesive mount and firmly pressing on it for a couple of seconds. You'll obviously also need to hook it up to the car's speakers, so we're going to stick the 3.5mm jack into the aux input. And obviously, also to no surprise, we're going to have to power the receiver, so in it goes into my car's USB charging ports. Pairing to the receiver is extremely quick and simple. All you need to do is start your car first as it turns on and off with the car, head into your Bluetooth device's setting and tap on Ugreen Bluetooth 07. Before we move on to pairing and quality, I noticed that the adhesive on the foam side to the mount didn't hold up very well in my case as it would drop off a few minutes after trying to stick it back on. Here you can see me trying to remedy that by replacing the default 3M stuff with some Gorilla double-sided tape, but unfortunately that didn't hold up very well too. I ended up settling with some contact adhesive between the foam and the plastic mount. Alright, real world usage experience time. The one thing that I really liked about this receiver is how fast it turns on and pairs with my phone. Here you can see that a second or so after my dashboard lights up, I hit the center button on the receiver and it immediately starts playing music from my phone. Have a listen at that audio quality as well.
So what's the takeaway with this Ugreen Bluetooth receiver? At the time of filming, it's one of the cheaper Bluetooth adapters now on Amazon at $15.99 USD, but don't let that price tag fool you. You're getting a lot for your money with this guy, so if you're in the market to give your car a modern upgrade, I can highly recommend this guy. After all, Sheldon of Big Bang Theory once said, everything is better with Bluetooth. I hope you guys liked this first episode of Tech from the Far East. If you did, drop me a like, maybe share this video, and if you didn't, well, screw you. But nah, JK, you can drop me a dislike or better yet, throw me a suggestion on how to get better. If you have a gadget that you think is suitable for Tech from the Far East, drop me a comment letting me know what it is and maybe I'll take a look at it. My name is Yang aka Tech Roden and have a good one.